On the 26th of January, 2020, the world lost one of the greatest NBA legends that ever lived. Kobe Bryant was mostly known for his incredible career with the Los Angeles Lakers before he retired from the sport in 2018. During his professional career, Kobe had shown his ferocity on the court and his ability to destroy his opponents using his Mamba mentality. In today's video, we'll take a look at five occasions where Kobe totally owned his opponents, leading to crushing victories or setting impressive records. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way, you never miss out on one of our future videos. Number 5. Kobe Scores 81 Against the Raptors One of Kobe's most memorable moments on the court is the time he scored an unbelievable 81 points against the Raptors. Leading to an impressive victory, the defeat for the Raptors happened on the 26th of January, 2006, after they were leading against the Lakers in the third quarter by 18 points. Kobe had already been putting the pressure on his opponents by scoring 26 points in the first half of the game, but went on to take 27 points in the third quarter. By the end of the game, he had managed to amass a phenomenal 81 points. What made his performance more impressive is that the shots were not simple ones taken from inside the paint. Kobe was taking shots over the players guarding him and sinking them with ease, frustrating those who couldn't find a way of blocking the Mamba. This is only one occasion where Kobe kicked things up to a whole new level when faced with a challenge or the prospect of losing. Number 4. Kobe vs. Mavericks Kobe didn't come off the bench for the first two years of his career, which caused him to hold a grudge against Del Harris, who was his coach at the time. Kobe even went as far as to say that he didn't care much for his former coach during his time with him. Nevertheless, Kobe got to take his revenge on the 20th of December 2005 when he spotted Harris on the sidelines as an assistant coach for the Mavericks. The day is infamous in NBA history as the time Kobe scored 62 points in three quarters, destroying the Mavericks by himself. In fact, the Lakers coach, Phil Jackson, famously wrote on his whiteboard, Kobe 62, Mavericks 61. By the third quarter, Kobe had scored 30 points, which led to a win for the Lakers. His performance wasn't down to the Mavericks being a bad team. In fact, the Mavericks would go on to win 60 games that season and were one of the best teams in the NBA. When asked about what happened with Kobe, the head coach, Avery Johnson, said that they had tried everything, but nothing worked against him. Do you think Kobe deserves all the credit for the win? Or did the rest of the Lakers play their part in their success? I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 3. Kobe Owns Jordan Kobe and Jordan have always had a brotherly love relationship. But anyone who has a brother will know, things can get pretty competitive. Jordan usually got the better of Kobe in the early days. But in 2003, during Jordan's last game at the Staples Center, he scored 11 points. This didn't sit well with Kobe, causing him to turn on the Mamba mode. He scored 23 straight points, ending with a franchise record of 42 points in the first half, including eight three-pointers and also nine consecutive shots. Years later, when Kobe appeared on The Jimmy Kimmel Show, he said that Jordan had been trash-talking him after the dunk in the first quarter and decided to do something about it. Kobe finished the game with 55 points, allowing the Lakers to take the win, with Jordan winning 23 points. Even though Kobe wasn't yet in his prime, on this occasion, Kobe destroyed Jordan. It does make you wonder, if Jordan and Kobe were to have a one-on-one -on -one with both in their prime, who would come out on top? I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 2. The 2009 Finals After Kobe had won three rings with Shaquille O'Neal, many began to doubt Kobe's ability to win without Shaq's help. To make things worse, the Lakers had lost the NBA Finals in 2008, which included a 39-point loss to the Celtics in the sixth game. Kobe said that the media would have a field day if he didn't perform well in the 2009 Finals, especially with the likes of Hado Turkoglu guarding him. With that mentality, Kobe came out strong, which helped the Lakers win by 25 points. Kobe went on as he begun, averaging 32 points per game throughout the series and defeating the Magic in just five games. By carrying the Lakers to the championship, Kobe had proved the doubters that he was a force to be reckoned with, even without Shaquille to help him. Number 1. Kobe Owns LeBron it's hard to dispute that both Kobe and LeBron are extremely impressive players who have had their fair share of well-matched head-to-heads. But there was a time in specific where Kobe owned LeBron. The game happened back in 2013, when LeBron was playing with Miami Heat, just a year after winning their first NBA championship. Many regard the 2012-2013 season as LeBron's prime, 
showing an incredible combination of offense and defense. This rise in skill resulted in fans making comparisons between LeBron, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant. On the 14th of February, 2013, Michael Jordan picked Kobe over LeBron in an NBA TV interview, stating that he believed Kobe to be the better player overall. This was just before the 2013 All-Star Game on the 17th of February, which fueled direct comparisons between the two. During the game, the two finally got the opportunity to prove who was the better player. The first three and a half quarters saw LeBron dunking ferociously but wasn't dominating the game. Kobe was also more of a supporting player, moving the ball around to get other players involved, claiming eight assists. In the fourth quarter, the game was close and everyone seemed to become far more serious, with many players turning to defense. LeBron began bringing the ball up the court, only to be met with Kobe Bryant, who was hounding the star player. With only two minutes left, the win began to slip away from the East, with LeBron struggling to do anything about Kobe's ruthless counters. Kobe managed to barrage and take the ball from LeBron later on, which made the point gap even larger. When it was LeBron's turn to answer, he took the ball up the court only for Kobe to immediately defend him, shut him down, and prevent a shot from happening. With only one minute left, LeBron was stopped once again by Kobe, who turned it over and scored another 10-point shot. With just 40 seconds left on the clock, Kobe caught up to LeBron again and blocked him. It's clear that Jordan's comment fueled the rivalry between the two on the court. If this is true, then Kobe certainly proved that he was the right man to back on that occasion. People rank Kobe differently when making a list of their all-time favorite players. But it's undeniable that Kobe had the rare gift of taking his performance to an unbelievable level when choosing to destroy an opponent. He may no longer be with us, but he will certainly be remembered as one of the greatest players ever to step foot onto the basketball court. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching.